Well, here we go. You, you may be seated long enough for you to feel rested, and then we're going to get back up. And when you stand up, you're going to act like your foot is on the devil's neck. Will you do that for me? This afternoon, it became very clear to me that God is doing something special in this area. And you need to know that the offering that was just received, not one dollar of it is going home with me. It's staying here in your city. And I'm going to tell you the first thing we're going to do with it. We're going to have a brunch for pastors and leaders. We're going to have a meeting to invite even the leadership of New York City. And we're going to, we're going to make a big deal out of it at our ministry. Because I believe that this region that the strongholds of Satan in the New York area and in northern New Jersey, both need to be broken by the power of God. Now, you need to clap a little bit louder. Yeah. So I wanted you to know that's our first investment. First, step one is to secure the site. Step two is to gather the leaders. When we went up to Batavia, you want to know how many leaders showed up for our brunch? 1,000. That's right. They came from Rochester, Buffalo, and 16 states. And I believe that we can do the same thing right here. I want you to have faith. I want you to have faith. How many of you have faith for that? Hallelujah. Well, I want you to stand up. <laughs> I want you to put your hands in the air right now and, and just receive from God with this declaration. I receive my marching orders. I know exactly what God wants to do. I'm ready. I'm ready in the name of Jesus. Let me see if you can shout right now. That's awesome. Yes. Hallelujah. You may be seated. One of the first points I'm going to make to you is I'm going to ask you a question. I want all of you to listen in to my question. How many of you would like to torture the devil? How many of you like to inflict pain on the devil? How many of you like to make him scared? Well, I have been in the ministry, praise the Lord. I have been in the ministry over 50 years. And in that time, I have seen astonishing healings. Miracles that baffle any kind of description of medical science. In that time, I've also witnessed what I believe to be the most evil devil on the planet. I have preached to people in the occult. I have led devil worshipers to Christ. I have allowed myself to be used of God with the most violent gangs in the United States. And even to the point where when we did a rally in Santa Ana, California, and one of the most notorious gangs in Southern California came to the meeting, and the, the soldiers come first, and the leader comes last. And one of them was a gang leader who was shot in a drive-by shooting 
and confined to a wheelchair because of it. He sat up on the rim of the bleachers where I was preaching. And one moment I said, I want those of you that are here that want Christ, get up out of your seat. And without thinking, he stood up. And when he stood up, his captains around him began to sob openly. And they picked up his wheelchair as a trophy, and the leader of that gang led them in a procession down the bleachers to receive Jesus. Somebody shout right now. It was amazing. Amazing. But the worst devil that I have ever confronted is a religious spirit. Because it's the only one strong enough to go to church. How many of you got something out of that? You see, devils want to be at an abortion clinic, a seance, a pornographic bookstore. They don't want to be in church. They've got to be where evil is. And the strongest get in the church. And they get into the leadership of the church. And they get into the doctrine of the church. And churches become what I call deacon possessed. <laughs> and you know what they do? They're not trying to win the loss. They're trying to steal members from the other churches. They're... they're spiritually territorial. One time, I was asked to do a lecture on territorial spirits, and they brought a bunch of leaders together, and I, I'm kind of like Trish, I get in trouble. <laughs> and they did all this talking, and then they, were, they had spiritually mapped their neighborhood and talked about what demon was in this area and what devil was over here. And I got up and I said, this is the most fascinating thing I've ever seen. Y'all are looking at this map when you all are the territorial spirit in this region. Because you guard your members worse than the gangs guard their turf. And what needs to happen is we who are in the ministry need to change our attitude. I'm going to run around this room right now. We need to change our attitude. And we need to realize that God wants to give us lost souls. That we don't need to steal from anybody. That we need, if we need to steal from the devil, not each other. I need you to clap right now. I remember a talk I had with a local pastor one time. And there are many godly men and women of God in the ministry in America and they're my friends. I am the friend of the local church. I believe in the local church. But it doesn't mean that I won't occasionally go David Wilkerson on them. <laughs> you know, there are not many parts of America that would understand that statement, but you all got it right away. He was my hero, great man of God. I, I miss him so much. And, and say, but he was so scary. Yeah, we needed it. How many of you know we could use a little scary right now? And I'm not talking about Halloween. <laughs>